Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pimp My Peon. This is my new little baby. This is what we have been working on and it's finally time to show it off. This is an early beta version, so please don't take this as the final product. There's a lot to come. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But first, I feel like it's, uh, you know, time to explain what in the living hell is Pimp My Peon even about? I keep talking about this game all about... What is it? Like, what in the living hell is Pimp My Peon? And that's what I'm here to show off. So, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Currently, there's only one race available. There will be eight once we are done. But we're going to get to that in a little while. So, this is the basic idea of Pimp My Peon. You have this little Pimp uh, Peon garage, which spawns peons every seven seconds. You also have the Peon Pimpery, which allows you to upgrade your peons, for example, like this which gives them a new axe, or this, which gives them another new axe, or this, which gives them a cute little hat. And then you use your peons to go hit other people. For example, uh, over here, there should be somebody, which we can go ahead and uh, just, you know, kind of hit, which I will do. <laughs> Immediately, because that is the most important thing. If I can give you one tip right away, in Pimp My Peon, you gotta fight. Go fight. Go fight. Seriously, go kill people. That is the most important thing. Go kill people, right? Like, if you aren't killing people, you're playing the game all wrong. So, uh, we are currently kind of like having a little dance back and forth with that fella over there. Um, I don't really just want to run into his base. That seems like a rather bad idea. Maybe we can go hit somebody else instead. Now, there are multiple types of upgrades in this game mode. And it's really all about those upgrades, right? Like the pimpery, uh, not the pimpery, <laughs> I'm sorry, the garage always spawns peons every seven seconds. But you increase the power of those peons. Oh, this is an empty base. Yeah, they are currently only, um, this, uh, it's only possible for us to have 10 different teams, which is why... Uh, on the 12 player map, if it's a free for all, there are currently sadly um, two empty bases, which is something we're gonna fix right once we figure out how to. But again, it's still a better version. So let's actually go ahead and fight. Shall we? Uh, I think we're gonna win this pretty handily. That seems pretty fine. Yeah, got him. Fantastic. Okay, now we can use that to go ahead and upgrade our peons a little more. And uh, we got bigger axes now. And let's go ahead and head over there. Maybe we can go fight him a little bit. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate that we spawn to next to one of the empty bases right now. I always prefer having people around that I can actually fight. But I'm okay with this. This is fine. So, as I was saying, it's all about upgrades, right? And uh, basically, at all stages of the game, it's always just about having better upgrades than your opponent and getting the most out of you. Uh, out of your peons. So for example, right here, I can upgrade the spawn rate of my peons, right? Instead of spawning one peon now, I'm spawning two, because this is at level two, which is significantly better, well, I think for obvious reasons. I can also increase how many peons I can have. So uh, at the bottom right corner, you can see this little um, axe and then, you know, like a number. That's your food cap. That's how many peons you can have. So right now I have the maximum amount. If I go ahead and upgrade my food limit, I can have an additional peon, which is, again, pretty important. At the Pimpery, we also have a lot of upgrades. We have weapons, which just increases your damage. We have helmets and shields, which also increase, uh, which increase your armor. We have wings, which increase your uh, movement and attack speed, which are really, really important. Uh, it's a very powerful upgrade. And uh, then we have upgrade health. Now, the only ones that use wood are these four. But don't worry, you will be running out of wood pretty quickly <laughs> like uh, it seems like there are there only four upgrades that use wood yeah but th that's plenty trust me on that over here you also have spells so for example i already got myself pulverized which let me be completely honest with you pulverized right now might be a bit broken right might be a bit on the strong side but you know we're still trying to figure all of this out we're still trying to um, make everything work pulverized very very good definitely something i can recommend uh, it is the reason why I just destroyed that guy so heavily, even though it seemed like we kind of had like evenly matched armies. And uh, yeah. But uh, Pulverize is that big AoE cleave you can see. It's just so good. <laughs> like, I, I have no other way of putting it. It's, it's very, very powerful. Um, again. But, you know, like that's, that's what a beta is for. We're trying to figure out all of these little quirks and trying to make it as good as we can. 
Uh, and I'm not afraid to admit that something might be broken. I'm not. Right, that's fine. We'll fix it. We'll figure it out. Now, up at the top left, you can see we also have this little hero. Every time you fight, you get experience. Right, every every single every single kill you get gives you experience, uh, which you then can use to upgrade your peons a little further. Right, this is global. This is an aura. Right, gives them a little bit more damage, gives them a little bit more movement and and attack speed, armor, health regeneration, whatever you desire. Now, there are a few more little crooks to this. So the way you kill somebody is you have to kill their peon garage. Now, the thing is, uh, to kill the garage, you first need to kill the four towers surrounding the base. So currently, this is invincible. Target invulnerable, I can't attack it. Doesn't work. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, well, that guy's being really aggressive with his super peons, which is the next thing I want to talk about. Uh, at the garage, you can summon up to three super peons. You only get three super peons. You don't get any more than that. You get three. That's the end of the story. Uh, after you summon your third one, you don't have any more left. Super peons will defend your base for 20 minutes. They cannot leave the base, but they will defend your base for 20, um, not 20 minutes, 20 seconds. There's no way anybody breaks through them. They are uh, far too powerful. They are exceedingly powerful. They will one-shot anything that gets close. They are just going to completely annihilate any army that comes to fight you. The point of that, of course, is to give you a little bit of a comeback mechanic to make it so that if you get swarmed by too many people, you can actually defend yourself. It's a really, really powerful mechanic. There are also like some late game, uh, nice late game possibilities that I thought were really cute. For example, uh, in one match, I got, uh, I was really evenly matched with another player, and we were going back and forth. And uh, then it came down, but but I had an additional super peon, right? I had one more super peon left than he did. So what I ended up doing as kind of like a little trick is I um, baited him into coming into my base, but I collected my army outside of the base, right? And then had him... Oh, by the way, you can't deny right now. Um, yeah, that's probably something we're going to remove as well. <laughs> Again, it's, uh, it's already better, right? Like, you gotta, gotta cut us some slack there. But um, I, I collected my army outside of the base, right? Uh, he ran his units, all of his, into mine. Didn't check if anything fishy was going on. I summoned a super peon, killed all of his, and then ran my dude into his base and killed him. So you can do quirky little things like that, which I think are really fun. Um, but overall, it's mostly a defensive mechanism, right? Now, uh, the most important aspect of this game mode is you need to keep fighting. Right, and I feel like that's a mistake a lot of people make. They don't keep fighting under all circumstances at all times. You have to keep fighting. If you if you fight, you get wood. If you get wood, you can upgrade your units. If you don't fight, you don't get wood. And well, you do get a little bit of gold, but honestly, you don't get enough to really, you know, actually get anything done. You have to go out of your base and actually fight. It is very important that you do that. And uh, I feel like a lot of players don't right now which is the downfall like <laughs> you gotta go fight it's really that simple so let's look maybe we can't find somebody else now you might notice the most defining characteristic of pimp my peon already every single time you upgrade your peons they get new cosmetics and these end up being really really fancy if the game takes a while your peons end up looking crazy they are just beautiful Right, they end up being absolutely fantastic. Uh, they turn into like giant demonic beings. And honestly, holy shit, what happened here? <laughs> it's crazy. But I really enjoy that, right? Like, so uh, the longer the game goes, the more powerful the peons become. Not only do they become more powerful, but they also look more powerful. And uh, if, if we go ahead and take a look at our axe at the moment, um, you see, he already looks quite a bit different from the regular axe, right? It's just like, oh, you know what? This is uh, this is unique. But uh, they grow and grow and grow. Another aspect I really like about this game is you can always see like what people are going for. So, for example, right here you can tell I don't have a, don't even have a shield yet, right? I have the basic helmet. No, I think it's level two helmet. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. Um, but I have really high powered weapons, so I'm going very aggressive. I'm going super. Just let's go ahead and hit people, right? Let's fight. Let's do this. Um, that's just because I, I really enjoy that playstyle, right? I'm also just only upgrading my movement speed and my damage here. I feel like that's um, a, a nice way of going about it. Not sure if it's the optimal way. Probably isn't, but I, I'm enjoying it, uh, so I'll keep doing that. 
<laughs> now there's another little thing. We have these little chief war dogs. Now these are super valuable. You gotta be careful with the chief war dogs. Now these spawn every three minutes. They don't have they don't impact your food count, so you don't have to worry about them um, you know, kind of taking away from your army. No, they are just a bonus. Now what they do is they uh, have spells which are actually really really powerful so for example they summon um they summon lightning bolts they can give you vision over an enemy so i can cast this and i see oh okay you know what that's that's nice to know now that's something that is really only useful on the late game right now it's not that important but it can actually come in quite handy the most important ability they have is bloodlust bloodlust is an auto cast it's gonna be cast on your peons and it's gonna make them significantly more powerful um, now they do attack, they don't actually deal damage, we're gonna have to take out the attack animation, right, but that's definitely a thing that's gonna happen as well. But, um, yeah. Now, uh, you can also do funny little things like setting a waypoint, which means that any time Peon spawn, they're gonna stop moving into that direction and gonna start attacking everything that's, uh, over there. Which I think is really nice, right, that's, that makes the game more really, um, quite intuitive, makes, for, it actually allows for a nice little, um, you know, Nice little playstyle where you could just kind of flood your enemies, which is something I like doing. So as you can see, I really uh, went heavy on the on the upgrades if it comes down to the spawn rate. Like we already have the level 4 spawn rate, which means that 4 peons spawn at a time. So what I like to do is I just like click into the enemy base and just have my peons continuously run in until they break the enemy. Which is a really... Uh, it's <laughs> it's kind of brute forcing your way into their base, but ah, uh, you know it, it wins games, so I'm not gonna complain about it, <laughs> right? If I have to brute force my way in, you better be sure I'll pr brute force my way in. I'm not afraid to do that. Right? I'm a man. Again, I'm not afraid of putting like a strangled foreign tiger in my deck, and I'm not afraid of putting. Um, BKB on my on my life stealer, right? I'll I'll do those things. Just like I'll upgrade my my spawn rate as a rubber spawn rate as high as possible so I can just brute force my way into enemy bases. Now you can also kill the pimpery, by the way. It takes a while. It's usually not worth it. Let me be honest with you. Usually it's not worth it to kill the pimpery. You can. Um sometimes it's actually like I had funny situations, for example, I played some matches with OD Pixel and his friends early on and um, we ended up in a situation where it was only me, one of OD Pixel's friend, friends and OD Pixel uh, left alive and uh, OD Pixel had his pimpery killed though, right? So somebody walked into his base and killed his pimpery, but we couldn't finish off OD Pixel because it came, really came down to either me or the, um, the third guy winning, right? I think it was called Muke. It came down to me or Muke winning. But uh, neither of us could really go kill OD Pixel. Because if we do, then the other one kills our base. <laughs> so it was kind of awkward like that. And um, actually ended up being really fun as a result. I don't think I can let you do that. And uh, then in the end it came down to like basically OD Pixel choosing. Who gets to win? And I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not win, sadly. You know, but, you know. That's actually the only game of Pimp My Pion that I have not won yet. So far, I have won literally every single one I've played. At least all of the free falls. Team, team. There is a team mode, by the way, that I, I should probably mention that. You can play as a team. That is possible. We have that available. It's a little quirky at the moment, right? It's, it's not like super well set up, but uh, it is possible. Uh, it's gonna be a big part though. Like uh, team mode I think is really really fun. We've played it with a bunch of people already and they all thought it was really really fun. So team mode is definitely something we're gonna put some emphasis on. But at the moment it's not fully developed yet. Um, I think uh, right now like our main center of attention should really be the free fall. Now I already killed that guy which is nice. So that kind of like makes sure I'm not gonna be attacked from that side. I'm probably not gonna be attacked from up here. So the next one in line is gonna be him. We'll go ahead and start breaking him down. Seems like a decent idea. Now the problem is, he is really fucking strong. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, wait. Maybe maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> maybe we aren't gonna break him down. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, we should maybe get ourselves a little bit of uh, defensive options. So as you can see, like we got some shields now. Uh, I had barely any armor up to this point. We are now at nine, which seems okay. Uh, we are going really aggressive still. Like we have the wings upgraded early on. Don't deal that much damage at the moment. So we should probably go ahead and take care of that. And oh, okay, we're gonna fight. That's fine. Go ahead and throw in some lightning bolts. And this is what I needed. He just gave us an opportunity. Uh, so the thing is, because I upgraded the wings early on, right? My peons are really fast. They are very good at reinforcing. And uh, again, that's like part of that strategy of just like brute forcing my way in. I'm not getting in there though. That guy is too powerful, uh, which is kind of a shame. So we should go ahead and maybe try to look at somebody else. Luckily, I'm strong enough to fight him off, right? Like if he tries to break into our gate, into our base, you have a defender's advantage because they kind of like need to squeeze through here. You can go ahead and build some more barricades, which you start out with, but you can build additional ones, which again puts them in a situation where they kind of have to squeeze in. And it's, it's a little awkward. It doesn't really work that well. So you tend to be fine as a defender, but uh, yeah, it's it's still kind of tough. Still kind of tough to go up against that guy down there. We we're not gonna be able to to get in, and we we need to stop working on other people. No, there should be other options, right? There definitely is somebody else that we can just go ahead and murder instead. <laughs> there gotta be. Like for example, that guy. See, ah, uh, but we ran into him. Oh no, that's a problem. I feel I jinxed this game already when I said that I have only lost a single one so far. Man. Man, 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 man. Yeah, you can't say that. I mean, if you if you say that, you're setting yourself up for failure, aren't you? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get these. Okay, fantastic. So we got our army going on again. Yeah, we got to look for somebody to fight. We're not getting attacked, which is... Uh, which may seem like that's a good thing, right? But honestly, you do want to fight, right? Like, that is the most important thing. You always, always, always are looking to fight. And if you're not getting attacked, that makes it difficult to actually go find people. You need to go uh, actively seek them out, which can be kind of tricky at times. Well, holy shit, I'm not getting anything done. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I'm just getting beaten back. It seems like I found a lobby with people that actually played this. Well, it's, it's been available for about two days at this point, right? Like, we have had it publicly available. And the, only the reason why I'm only now creating a video about it is, um, you know, because we have only now really fixed all of the major bugs. There was one that constantly crashed the game, which was a problem. But it's fixed now, right? Uh, it's it's all taken care of, which is why I'm creating a video. You can actually play it now. Um, by the way, if you don't know where the hell it is, I'll put a link down below. Go check out my game, old pin my peer. <laughs> I made this for you, people. This is for you. I hope you enjoy it. Man, you bet it. Okay. Uh, I think I actually could... Ah, oh, man. I keep getting pincered here. Okay. Oh, nice! Cleaved him down. Sweet. Okay. Gotta get ourselves more damage. A um, little bit more of that. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, we were talking about what the peons looked like earlier, right? Now look at him. Look at him. All of a the sudden, that's like an entirely different beast, isn't it? And he's gonna continue growing. Like he's gonna continue like, getting more and more fancy. Talking about growing, by the way. Uh, there's this upgrade health thing, right? Did you see that? Every single time you upgrade health, your peons also grow a little bit in size. Uh, which I think is... Uh, come on, that's cute, right? Like, that's like a that's really adorable. Like in the end, you, you can again. Like I, that's some one thing I really like about this mod. Um, you get visual response for basically everything. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I don't have my army around. Oh, and he's going for these. No, no, please refrain from this. Oh man, no, 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 no. Okay, I, I beat him back. No problem. Like my army's strong enough to handle him. This is not an issue. But. I lost one of my war dogs and I've been saving them. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. Man, that stings a little. I kind of was hoping to keep those fellas around. Okay, maybe maybe let's actually move out. You know, maybe we can actually go ahead and just get something done. Yo, fellas, get over here. Uh, all of you, maybe too. Wait, what's going on with you? 
Come on, get out of there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, this over here. I don't know. I'm not sure how much I think that how much I like that. Like, there's always been a a place where people fight. The poor guy. He's just like the guy that actually owns the base is not having a great time here, honestly. But everybody else is. <laughs> okay, let's send my spawn point in here. Gotta take take care of these fellas. So uh, as you can see, it's pretty micro intensive. I'm not very good at micro management. It's just not my thing. I've never been much of a Starcraft player, so. Yeah, I'm not very good at it, but uh, I try, I try, try really hard. Uh, let me go ahead and get these, and kind of wish to upgrade this some more, but I, I think right now I'm better off just, you know, going for the basic upgrades, making my peons stronger. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, that's basically it, that's the game mode. I think it's really fun. It's not, now let me be honest with you. Let me be completely honest with you. It's not as fun to watch as it is to play. It is really cool to play. Literally everybody that I've talked to, right? Like, and and it's not even people like you might say that. Well, you only ask your friends if they like it, right? And then they all were like, "Yeah, of course, Balmy. Of course, we like your mode." <laughs> no, 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 no. Again, I, I somehow wound up in a party with Od Pixel earlier. I'm not really sure how that ended up happening, but I didn't mind it. It was actually quite fun. And um, the the thing was, uh, he had some friends around, and I was like, and they wanted to play matchmaking. And was like, I just spent life with this game mode, and I kind of want to play test, uh, play t play test it a little. I mean, would you guys be up for that as well, right? Maybe you guys enjoy it. I mean, if you don't, let's just play around, right? If you don't like it. Then we go play a matchmaking game, but you know, just let's just give it a shot. How about it? And they were like, "Okay, sure, why not?" Right? Let's, I mean, like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, worst case scenario, we don't like it, so let's just go ahead and play around. And we did. And then we played another. And then we played another. And everybody had a great time. And it was just really fun. And it's like a really, really cool mode to play. Oh, nice, beat him. Yup, 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 yup. This is super, super tough. This this match, by the way. Uh, I got some more lightning bolt though. Oh man, this is this is not enough now, is it? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead and get myself the monkey king bar. Man, this is really tough. <laughs> These guys, they are putting up one hell of a fight. Let me go ahead and get a bigger army, shall we? Literally. <laughs> I think I gotta kill the green one. I mean, that, that, he's just getting out of hand. He's just getting too powerful. Now, sadly, after you get knocked out, it's it's over. It's game over for you, right? There's nothing you really like can do at this point. Um, yeah, it's just you know, it's like a competitive game mode. I honestly don't blame people if they leave after after getting knocked out. Right? Like, as the host, maybe you should stick around, maybe just tap out and let the rest of the people play it out. Right? But, um... Otherwise, I, I really totally understand. Right? If you want to quit after losing. I mean, honestly, if I wouldn't host every single time, then I would do the same. Also, I don't lose. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's, it's you know, like, you, you kind of get a little ghost unit that allows you to scout around so you can take a look at how everybody else is playing and kind of, like, take some hints from the people that are living longer and playing better, right? But uh, overall, there's not really much you can do after getting knocked out, which, um, ah, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. That's fine, though. So, uh, there's nothing here. Is he killing the boss? So there's this little boss unit down here, which is actually uh, kind of a big deal because it gives you 200 wood. A lot of people don't even know that he's here, and I constantly forget about him as well. I think he killed him already. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, he's not incredibly strong, sadly. <laughs> we should make him more powerful. Definitely. Like, that's just... Oh, God damn it! get that super peon out of my face. The super peon, by the way, cannot leave the base. Um, it can shoot... Like that, or you can kind of can or can shoot people outside of the base, but it can't leave the base, so it's not, never actually like gonna like, attack you properly or something like that. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, so what do we do here? 
I think I'll go ahead and upgrade the crits a little. I think that, uh, that seems pretty reasonable, right? Okay. Let's go. He just used his Super Peon. I still haven't used any of mine. Oh! Well, I think I'm gonna have to end up using some Super Peons. No, 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 no. Yo, I need you here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm always super careful if it comes to the Super Peons, right? I think they are incredibly valuable. And especially in the really late stages of the game, again, like there's some mind games you can, can do with them. You can play some tricks on your opponents. So, yeah, it can be pretty tough. Now you might say, well, Bomi, this game actually takes quite a while, doesn't it? Well, yeah. Uh, now, this is not a great example of a regular match. This is actually a super even match. What you got currently going on is like one of those 90-minute Dota games, right? Where it's just like, holy shit, this is actually crazy. Why is this... Why is this so even? Right, this this is unusual. Now, at the same time, I'm not saying that games don't usually take half an hour. Because they do, right? But they don't take half an hour for everybody. They take half an hour for the people that are winning. Which, uh, let's be honest, uh, you're not going to be winning every match. Like, as, much, as much as we want to believe that, as much as we are the best people at this game ever. Uh, no. no. <laughs> right, you're not going to be winning every match. Oh, this is a problem. Ah, uh, I should still be fine. He's got um, big wings, which is a, which is an issue. That pink guy is doing very well for himself. I don't know if I can challenge him at all. I mean, my peons are really strong on on damage, but I'm not sure if that's enough. They're also pretty healthy in, in HP. And I, like I'm, I'm putting like I I like putting a lot of value into um, into getting um, damage right and like really making sure that all of that works out fine and like abilities I think are very valuable, but currently I'm getting uh, kind of fucked. Let me be honest with you. <laughs> oh man, they hey, they keep swarming into me now. I want to get rid of me. What's going on here? Okay, that's fine. I, I appreciate that, because this is going to give me a lot of resources to work with, because I can actually defend. I'm strong enough to defend, no problem. I mean, that's not an issue. Okay. Okay, let's just rush this in here. Maybe we can get some damage done. Maybe just just a little, right? We don't need to, we don't need to kill him. But if we can, just you know, get a little bit of damage done on those buildings. That would be nice. Ah, you know, that's a start. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I definitely could have been better, but... Oh, there we go. Look at that party. It's fine. We can fight him off. We can fight him off. We're still doing great. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this is... I, do, I don't know. I don't think I can win this one. I'm just not... Like, I am up there, right? But Pink is ahead by a lot. Like, he has a lot of kills, which is going to make it super, super difficult. I'm not even sure what I'm... Like, what I should upgrade at this point. Uh, kind of going for, like, everything, which <laughs> seems like a rather bad idea. Oh, man. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Well, there are only five people left in the game. I should probably take some time to scout out where they are. Okay, it's not him. But yeah, we, we should figure out who actually is left in the game. You see, this is what I was talking about earlier on, right? With the Wardock, the scouting ability becomes actually quite valuable. Um, but at the moment, I'm just, I'm just getting swarmed by pink. I mean, I can swarm back. Let's do this. If I had to guess, he, I would say he's here. I'm not sure, though. Yeah. Okay. Got it right. Wait. Can we do this? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, kind of. Okay. Now, one little thing. Uh, if any of you watched the stream, then you might remember that this upgrade used to crash the game. See? We got it all fixed now. It's all fine. So even if I attack somebody with it, it doesn't crash the game anymore. Turns out it wasn't actually this upgrade that crashed the game. It was the upgrade beforehand, which uh, in case you 
um, did actually watch the stream and you remember uh, it used to be a different weapon but changed that out and now it's fine so yeah again this is an active development we're always working on it and um, yeah now though currently I'm I don't think I can leave my base I mean I really want to but I'm not certain that I should Okay, maybe we just swarm him back. Maybe we just do that, huh? Let's see. But I should maybe put the waypoint uh, over here. This is probably a very bad idea. <laughs> let me be honest with you. Now, let me go ahead and talk about features to come. Right? So, first of all, there are going to be eight different races. We are currently playing as the Orc race which is the first one that's available. They are going to be eight overall, which of course is a lot more than currently is available. Um, those are going to be... My God, let me go ahead and open that up really quick. Those are going to be the orcs, the goblins, the under, the skeletons, the peasants, which or, or humans, uh, the blood elves, the night elves, and the treants. Each of those is going to have unique voice lines and a unique voice actor which are not part of regular Dota. Currently, these are not voice acted at all. Actually, yeah, it seems they're not voice acted at all. <laughs> but they are going to have voice actors, proper voice actors. Now, these voice actors are not going to be any people. These voice actors are going to be people from the community. Um, just to let you know uh, who exactly. Uh, well, or just some, but for example, the the goblins are going to be voiced by Sir Action Snacks. Uh, the the undeads are going to be voiced by Pyrion Flax. I myself am going to do the treants, and uh, we have Kotlegai doing the skeletons. So there are, again, quite a few people that are going to be at least somewhat involved in this. On top of the additional races, there's uh, this little uh, guy over here who doesn't really do anything right now. A lot of people have asked what the trader is all about. The trader is supposed to allow you to trade things. Currently, he doesn't, but he, he will eventually. So, <laughs> like, we're still working on that, right? Uh, there's also going to be a lot more emphasis on team play, right? Uh, we're going to have, we're going to have, um, you know, proper, I'm, I think I have to use a super peon here. No, you guys stay. No, I'll lose this building. You know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. I value a super peon more than I value that building. God, this is bad. <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, we're going to hopefully have 12 players um, in the regular mode, which is uh, really what it's supposed to be. We are hopefully going to have proper... Um, uh, proper teams in the multiplayer, uh, like in the in the team mode, which currently again is a little awkward, but we'll figure all of that out. Right, that's all to come. Hopefully, the game mode is going to be popular enough to have dedicated server support, so we don't have to worry about the host leaving the game issue anymore, which I personally would really appreciate. And uh, yeah, but there's a lot to come. I have a lot of ideas myself, and uh, I have a lot of people giving a lot of creative input. For example, we are probably actually gonna have gonna uh, retexture some of the peons uh some of the um man this is bad can we do this yeah but we're probably gonna have to uh, probably gonna retexture some of the models not all of them but uh for example the axe which is of course supposed to be an orc uh, is likely going to actually be green and look like an orc i do have um, a friend of mine jeremy is actually like he does have a degree in modeling and he's like a professional artist and all of that. He's also working on a loading screen and it's all going to be taken care of. It's all going to be fabulous. It's all going to be fantastic once we are done, which we are nowhere near. But, you know, we are, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying really, really hard. Oh my god, I am doing horribly. I gotta change something up. I have super high damage right now. I'm pretty sure I have the highest damage in the game, which, by the way, as you continue upgrading, like, the weapons start looking really fancy. I mean, look at that. We have the Zeus Lightning Bolt going on at the moment, which I think is just fantastic, but uh, we're getting overrun, and this is this is just not gonna work. We gotta change something up about this. Uh, I feel like I, I need better wings and I need more armor. <laughs> I feel like I just went far too heavy 
on the damage. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe only building damage is not the greatest strategy. Um, it is very good if you get to be aggressive, but uh, pink is doing far too well for me to be able to, to be aggressive. And on top of that, I keep getting attacked from the two fronts, which certainly doesn't help, doesn't help the issue. Um, I'll go, I'll go get some armor. You know, let's tank up a little, that seems like a decent idea, right? Um, overall, I... Can you please defend us? I, I don't know if I should use super peons for that, or if I should just let my base die. I probably should not let my base die. That's that's likely a bad idea, but I'm not entirely convinced. Who is even still in the game? Is Noya still in? Oh, he is! That's cool. So Noya, by the way, is the mother. Right, that's the guy that, that I hired. That's the guy that's doing like all of the coding and all of that. Um, a lot of people seem to have this misconception that uh, I am not doing anything. I am actually putting a lot of work into this mod as well. Um, even though I don't do any of the like actual coding or anything like that, um, I do a lot of the creative work and uh, I do most of the playtesting, which is, as he would probably tell you, incredibly valuable. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh man! Oh, by the way, uh, again, I, I love pointing this out, but look at my look at my axe now. Look at what he turned into. Look, look what he turned into. It's just not the same dude anymore, right? Like he's he's big now. He's independent. He's somebody that we need to value and respect. I think I'll go ahead and start upgrading armor here, uh, just because it seems like the best way of going about it. Maybe that's the way I should do it, right? Like maybe instead of just upgrading damage over here. Should upgrade all. Oh, I'm attacking right now. Oh, that's fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. That's my main issue right now. I'm really, really scared. I, I, and I don't want to leave my base. I'll just leave a few behind and then try. Nope, nope. I'm not leaving anything. <laughs> I'm not sending those guys away at all. Okay. Ow, oh, these are too fast. Okay, I'll have to do it. So yeah, though, that's a super peon for you, right? Like, this guy is going to defend your base. It's going to make sure nothing happens. It's going to be okay. Oh, they killed purple. Oh, no, how did they kill purple? Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Wait, attack, attack, attack. Why didn't the super peon attack? Oh, no. Okay, uh, well, this is a problem. Actually, no. Blue is not an issue. I can I can fight Noya with just my regular reinforcements. That's fine. Okay, we got better rings now. <laughs> which uh, attack speed I feel like is really important with our with our high damage. No fight, 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 fight. This is this is not gonna happen, is it? You need to attack. Who? Okay, we gotta work a little bit on the um. On the mindset of the super peon, it seems like right now he's being a bit lazy. Uh, yeah, of course he's just supposed to like fight, which at the moment uh, I, I don't I don't know why he didn't. That was a bit odd. Again, we'll figure all, all of that out. I don't I don't think I'm gonna make it. This guy is just far too strong. It's just too much. He just rushes into my base and, and murders me. Um, okay, let me go ahead and repair my buildings a bit. Guys, you need to fight! <laughs> oh no. If he kills the Pimpery, uh, I don't lose. But I kind of do. Because I can't upgrade anymore. Which is really bad. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious. Okay, let's get... Let's, you know what? Let's continue on on our path. This is who we are, man. This is what our life is about. It's about having the biggest, fanciest weapon and then just killing shit with it. That's my last super peon. That's it, man. This is this is all I can do. <sighs> Wait, is he the one winning? Is Felicia the goat winning? Ah, uh, he's paying me back. He's paying me back. I, I have killed him quite a few times in our matches. 
Um, there's some people that really enjoy this game mode, and they basically always join whenever I host a match, and he's one of those. So he keeps joining, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, he had some practice runs, so he had a good one this time around. Huh. Uh, can I... Yes, okay, we're still in it, we're still in it. Though my... my um, I need a higher spawn rate, uh, honestly. Like, uh, he just keeps reinforcing with so many and so quickly. Okay. Look at this! Look at my punch hook! <laughs> oh man, I just love the weapons so much. I think they look so cool. I think they look so cool. Okay, I'm just saving for uh, more reinforcements, higher spawn rate, but I don't have any super peons left, so if he kills me, then I I just, if he kills this, I lose. It's too much. This is what I was doing to the other guy earlier, right, where I was just brute forcing my way in. Okay, I'll I'll position these around here. Let me also go ahead and build a barricade. Now this may seem a little silly, but it's I think the barricade is actually gonna help me build up an army for once, which I've struggled to do. Yeah, you see? Now I actually managed to survive with units still alive. Which means I can reinforce while he is reinforcement forcing. And uh I should in theory, unless I He's really, like, that much stronger than me. Always be ahead on... Uh, he is far stronger than me. <laughs> oh, I don't stand the chance. People, people, I think we're done here. <laughs> oh, man. I really want to believe, but there's just... I don't know. I don't know if we can do this. Ah, oh, man. Okay. We got a Scythe of Vice now. We're getting really, really close to the maximum upgrade. Max level is 40, by the way. So. Uh, yeah, level 27. I should definitely upgrade my wings, though, and my armor. Like, I should not keep upgrading my weapons. But I do have a Scythe of Vice now, which is really fancy. <laughs> I'm really happy with my Scythe of Vice. Okay, 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 this is my opportunity. I'll go ahead and attack his base while he is killing green. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is like my only opportunity. This did nothing, I'm dead. Help! <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, I think I gotta spend some money on repairs just to, to, to get my pimpery back on track. And I'll skill this just to get my pimpery a little bit more HP regeneration. Um, which seems like a decent idea. No, 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 you're supposed to attack. You're supposed to attack. Fight him back! Okay, 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 okay! We're doing fine! We're not, we're not doing fine, but he's not killing me, so that's okay. We gotta get wings, we gotta get wings. Um. Oh no. Oh no, he's killing it. Okay, I'll spend all of- I don't have the pimpery anymore, that's it, I'm out. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he decided to kill me, and it's just too much. He's far too powerful. Ah, that's unfortunate. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so uh, I'm dead now. So you, I get this little little ghost unit that I I can walk around with, right? And kind of take a look at how the rest of the game is gonna continue and who's gonna win. I think it's pretty obvious at this point who's gonna win. Like this, just this is just too much, right? I don't think anybody can handle it. What are those wings at? Oh, they're fully upgraded. Yeah. So. Uh, I sadly can't use the showcase view on enemy units, right? But this is what his peons look like. So you could really see, right? Like, I went for mostly weapons. 
and I had these like super fancy swords and stuff. And he went for mostly wings, and now he's got like these these huge demonic wings. And, well, now of course he's also continuing to upgrade, and soon he's gonna have everything maxed. Well, if the game lasts long enough for that, holy shit! <laughs> oh man. Okay. So I wonder if he can actually hold on. Because uh, honestly, it seemed like I was stronger than he was. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can. It doesn't seem like it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is Pimp. My peon. If you feel like playing some of it, feel free to do so. I would very much appreciate it. If you have any bugs, any feedback, any shenanigans that you want to report, feel free to let me know. Send me a message. Write a YouTube comment. Right. Leave a message on the on the Steam Workshop page. Right. We appreciate all feedback. We're trying to incorporate as much of it as we think is reasonable. Though at the moment we're still mostly preoccupied with creating the original Walker Free experience. Uh, that's honestly our primary focus at the moment. Uh, but but yeah, that's pimp my peon. I think. I think that's really all there's there's to say about it. So let's go ahead and just, you know, wait this one out. Again, this was uh, an unusually long game. Usually they don't last this long. I would say half an hour is probably the time when it ends most of the most of the time. Right. Um, but couldn't really tell you exactly, right? Like some games are much faster than that. I've had games end in 15 minutes. Um, though I gotta admit, like out of all the mods currently available, it's definitely one of the... I wouldn't say it's slower pace because like there's constantly action going on. You're always doing something, right? But it takes longer, right? It, it takes a while compared to the mo compared to most. But you know, right? Uh, some that, that are like that, and that's fine. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. So Felicia the Goat was victorious, and. Uh, yeah, this is uh, a little problem at the moment. There's sadly no victory screen. <laughs> Wish there was one, but um, yeah, wind condition still failing to detect. The problem with the wind condition at the moment, which is something we're working on, right, is that if somebody disconnects, then it doesn't properly close the game. But anyway, that was Pimp My Peon. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope... You go ahead and play a bit of it. Um, again, Steam Workshop link down below. Feel free to, you know, let your friends know and the usual. And, uh, well, I hope you have fun with this. This is for you, man. This, uh, I made this for you guys. This is my gift before I vanish into the never realms of university. Well, I'm still here. I mean, I'm not leaving, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I hope to see you tomorrow.